number of heroin related deaths is growing in our area and tonight local health officials are teaming up with law enforcement to fight the problem. News Channel 5 Shay Harris is live on 5 with this story and Shay what did you find out? Well, Danita, basically the numbers that came out today in that initiative uh, were not what the, those involved in this fight wanted to hear. As a matter of fact, they say as the death toll rises, the fight is just beginning. There were five heroin deaths over the weekend and one just yesterday. What's changed from, you know, the heroin that was on streets in the 1970s is that was relatively impure. There were a lot of cutting agents that have been added to it. Cuyahoga County Medical Examiner Dr. Thomas Gilson says the new street heroin is pure and dangerous and he says Cuyahoga County is at epidemic levels. There were 161 deaths in 2012 connected to heroin. This year it's at 160, which is a 50% rise over last year, which was already a dramatic rise. And the numbers keep getting worse. If you go back to 2007 up to 2012, We've seen a 400% increase, a fourfold increase in just tests that are either due to heroin by itself or heroin with other things. Dr. Gilson says there are several factors contributing to the increase. We had people who were addicted to prescription painkillers, and now because of the cheaper nature of heroin and the widespread availability, unfortunately, they're switching here. The real risk lies with people who are experimenting with the drug for the first time, as well as users who get off heroin then go back. If they go back to where they left off after all those bumps, that's a fatal dose to them. Metro Health Emergency Medicine physician Dr. Joan Papp says by the time they get involved, it may be too late. When people are brought in, oftentimes they're brought in by a family member or dropped off at um, the front door. They may be completely unresponsive. Dr. Papp says naloxone is the antidote for overdosing. I think that this drug is imperative that it reaches the population who is overdosing and dying because every every minute and every second without oxygen counts. Dr. N uh, Pab says they are offering free naloxin kits at the free clinic every Friday from 1 to 5. They are also willing to help teach you and your family how to administer this drug just in case there is an emergency. On your side, Shay Harris, News Channel 5.